at some point in the future after all this a family moves into the house and ruth wilson's ghost haunts them there she tells us in her voiceover narration i have heard myself say that a house with a death in it can never again be bought or sold by the living it can only be borrowed from its ghosts and so it is the house that stands at the end of teacup road near the town of braintree massachusetts you may borrow it from me because the memory of a death is a thing that stays pressed deeply in place like type on paper even after it has been covered up with nothing left to see and still i think i'll stay for one more look at her this is how i let myself rot the pretty thing you're looking at is me but it's not really the ghost of Polly that scares Ruth Wilson so much at the end of the film. The scene is metaphorical, I'd say, because deep down, Ruth Wilson knows that it's an honor to be alive or dead upon the road to revolution. So as she's having her heart attack, she's scared because she realizes that there's no more time left for her to overturn the culture of silence by introducing a counter-hegemonic view of capitalism. Ruth Wilson is terrified in her final moments, not because she finally sees the ghost of Polly, but because she let her whole life go by without educating the people in class consciousness or teaching the people to decodify their circumstances so as to understand how those circumstances produce oppression. The people must gain class consciousness to determine what their role is in transforming society into an atrocitarian utopia. 